Okay guys, thanks for tuning into my channel again. Uh, just a quick uh, recap on uh, on my channel. This channel is what I do myself to uh, get gold from electronic devices um, to try and find gold. As I said, I haven't processed any of it yet. My plan is to process it. Hopefully, when I get more and more subscribers to my channel, I'll start to process the gold and show you how I do it and all that. But at the moment, um, I'm just collecting the gold. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Um, the more people that subscribe, the better it is. Um, more information can be passed. Someone might, I might, someone might see that I'm doing something differently, or they're doing something differently that might be better. So they can pass the information on to me. I can pass it on to my subscribers. Uh, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, um, and like, like, comment, share, whatever you feel like doing. Um, so today, as you'll see now in a second. Right. What I'm going working on is ink cartridges. So ink cartridges, most houses will have an ink ink printer. Uh, you know someone who has ink printers. A lot of time these cartridges are just thrown out, thrown in the waste, um, and that's the end of them. So what I'd like to point out to a few people is that um, a lot of these ink cartridges will contain gold chips. So as you can see there, this here has a gold chip again in it. So this can be treated the same way as you treat your uh, gold fingers on your uh, RAM chips or RAM uh, sticks. So again, that can be put in. The gold can be removed the same way as we're going to remove it in later videos from our RAM sticks. So what I when I plan to do it is I might mix up RAM sticks and the RAM stick fingers and some of these chips together to remove the gold, or I might just do them all on their own. So I bring in a closer view there of it. So it's a you can see there the gold chips. So again, the gold chips are fairly easy to remove. They can be used, use a knife uh, to remove them, um, a pin knife, anything like that, sharp uh, blade uh, in underneath. Again, as you can see, I haven't got my gloves on yet, but I will now in a minute put on my gloves so I'm going to remove them. I just want to show you the, the different types of chips. So this one, straightforward, flick it out. Uh, I'll show you in a minute how I do that. Uh, then we have these uh, ink cartridges will contain like a ribbon strip essentially so again you'll have to maneuver your knife in underneath and we'll lift up the the strip away from the um away from the cartridge again you can see the gold little dots again it's very little gold on each cartridge you're not going to you're not going to find a lot of gold when you when you go to process them so that's why you're going to need a lot of chips or a lot of the ribbon when you go to process to make it worthwhile doing it uh, because of the acid cost and all that so essentially if you can get these cartridges for free just stock them up if they're old empty cartridges just stock them up if they're full cartridges you'll get more money always selling them on ebay than you will from the recycling of the gold from them uh, so that's another type of cartridge i'll be working on later on here today then we have this type of cartridge here so essentially when you look at it first most people will say no there's nothing there nothing of value may throw it in the bin but in under here is your little gold chip. So again, have a good look around any of these cartridges. Sometimes they may be well hidden like that. When you look first, you might think there's nothing there, but in underneath here will be your gold chip. So I'm just gonna put on my gloves um, and I'll, I'll just remove a few chips. As you can see, I have a lot of cartridges to, to work on here at the moment that I'm gonna just be doing today. So what I'll do is I'll remove one or two chips, show you how I do it. Uh, then I'll um, pause the video and I'll come back at the end and we'll see what, what, what weight of chips, gold, gold chips I got off each one. So we'll just stick on the gloves and we'll go back to the first ink cartridge and we'll have a go to removing the, the chip from it. So I'll use a little A little knife in under try and get it in under there so you can see there straight forward straight underneath it and it lifted the chip straight out so again I'll put that aside and we'll um, weigh them up at the end so that was a straight forward so I'll try another one of them type so we can get a better look at it so this one as you can see is slightly different it's a longer with the gold here so when I was going to process them I may trim it back to here so that I'm not just uh, throwing all the less to deal with at the end of it. So this one looks like it has a little catch here underneath, which it does. So again, I'll just press up and that should allow me to remove it. So there we go. 
So again, there's our chip taken off the cartridge. Straightforward. Uh, the back has an epoxy on the back of it. On the chip has a lot of epoxy. So usually if you can remove this epoxy again, you will find gold underneath it. So we'll have a look at that later and see can I get the gold out from under that. Um, go give it another one. So again, this one here, as you can see there's a nice big gold chip on there. So we'll go with the smaller knife. Again, we try and manoeuvre that into any spot you can see that you can get a little grip underneath your thing. Underneath your cartridge. So again, there's our little gold chip. So that's, that's, that's how I'll remove most of them. So we'll go back then to this cartridge. The one that contains the ribbons. So as you've seen earlier, what I was going to do was just try and slide my knife in underneath and try and prise it away from the actual cartridge. I'll try up this side and see can we, if we can get a little bit away from the cartridge to start off with, we might be able to pull it off then. Yeah, it's coming away there now from the actual cartridge, but it's not coming away in one big section, it's coming away in a couple of sections, so. So there we have pulled away the part of it, partly pulled away. So as you can see, you can see the little gold, gold foils on it. So again, I'll go with the knife and pull away the rest of it. So you can see the, the bit that's left on the actual cartridge. So they're a bit more awkward, a bit more work to them. Um, so I try and, to be honest, I try and avoid these ones if I can at all because they're just they're just too awkward, too much work to them. Stuck to the board. So again, like that's stuck to the board there now. Stuck to the cartridge. So peeling that away is sore torture. So we put him aside. Um, so that's mainly it, what I want to talk about on the cartridge. Just to, and I'll run through these, and I'll pause the video and I'll go through them, and I'll remove all the chips. So they're all kind of more or less the same. Again, you have your, you have your um, cartridge, you have your chip in underneath, and straight away it just lifts off. So it's very, very easy to remove from these type of cartridges. These mainly, you mainly find these on the Epsom uh, cartridges. That I seem to come across these on the Epson cartridges mainly. So it's just it's just straightforward to remove it. You can see the nice little gold um, flashing on the chip. So what I'll do is I'll carry on here with all these. Pause the video and I'll come back when I have them all removed. We'll do a quick way up uh, just to see what sort of um, amount of um, gold that we've got on it. So I'm just trying to crack this epoxy away. So what I find if you bend the chip like that, it usually lifts in some side so we can get in underneath and see if there's anything of value in it. So this chip now, so I've lifted the air away. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and, when I lift it up this time, I'll try and get the knife in under it. So I have the knife in under and we'll just see if there's anything of value. So as you can see there now where I've removed some of the epoxy, you can see there's gold in underneath this epoxy covering. So again, I'll try and remove the rest of that to get in, in at the gold, the epoxy itself that I've remo removed. Mm, seems to really have nothing of value. I don't see anything of value in under there. Uh, but again, I, I, when I go to process maybe chips or something, I'll incinerate them with the chips. Um, just in case there's any gold value in underneath that little epoxy. Um, so again, I'll just try and remove this. Again, for this, I should really have my gloves on. So, but I don't, because I just want to see if I can remove it from underneath with the knife. So no, I'll probably put my gloves on and put a bit more force into it and get that removed if possible. So I'll pause the video there. I'll remove the rest of these chips and when I come back, we'll see what we've had. Okay guys, um, just about to finish up here now on the last of the few cartridges so I'll uh, just come back to you on it so here we go again so again as I was done earlier 
I'm just putting the knife in underneath, lifting, well, lifting the chip if it wants to come out, but sometimes it would have to be a bit awkward. So there we go. So knife in underneath the chip and just lift away. So that's all there's to it. It's just straightforward. So a few more here we'll just finish off on. So again. Try and find it's the, the easiest end. So it's just straight under there. Prize away, chip away. So it's not, not much to it. So that's one type of cartridge. So then the other type that I was saying was this type, which had the the um, chip here hidden. So when you look at it quickly, you'd be looking, nothing there, but it's actually hidden inside of here. So what I like to do is try and line up inside of there and pull away from the inside. So just pull away and that should release the chip. So there's our there's our chip from that cartridge. So on the other side, again, it's just straightforward, nothing to it. Uh, serial number, that's about it. And there's our our chip. So we have one more of them type, so we'll do it again. So again, try and line up as best you can with the knife and just push, pull it away and that's it. Straightforward. So again, there's our chip. Again, it has the epoxy. If you can remove that epoxy, you will find uh, gold under that. Um, it's quite hard to remove the epoxy from them. I've been trying there with the ink cartridges, but it's, it's quite hard to remove the uh, epoxy from it. So what I'll probably do is once I've removed the gold uh, using um, the same method as I will for removing the gold from the fingers on the RAM uh, sticks, uh, I may incinerate uh, these with my chips so that I can release, hopefully release the gold from under there. So again, you can see it even on this chip. You can see the, the epoxy, but if you look closely, it's a bit hard to see with this, but you can see there's a gold uh, coming out from underneath the epoxy. So that more than likely there's more gold under that epoxy. So that's again, straightforward um, chips for removing. So again, we'll just get onto this one. Again, try and find where to get the knife in underneath. Once you have the knife underneath the chip, chip will just lift away. So there's um, it's 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 a way of getting gold. This one now, as you can see, has an actual um, holder for the chip uh, as well. So we'll try and slide that out as best we can. There we go. So that's it out. So that's the it's inside the holder. So again, to remove it from the holder, just push from behind the chip. To, to lift the chip and then we'll put our knife in underneath again. So once we have our knife underneath, so it's very important that you wear gloves again because if I was to slip there now and this was, uh, I hadn't got gloves on, I could go through the back and into my finger. So that's it. So we have the chip now released from the holder. So again, you can see there the gold on it. Okay. So as you, as you see from these chips that I have here, there's various amounts of gold on each one. So you have this one, which seems to be the most amount of gold chip. It's, cut, it's nearly full chip gold. And then you have the likes of this chip, which is just, we've got little dots of gold on it. Um, again, you have these type chips, a bit more gold on them. Uh, so that there, there's a different various amount of uh, gold per chip. Um, so I just I think I have one more of those type to do. So we have one more type of the, the chips to pull out. So again, once we get the knife blade under the chip, it just comes away from the cartridge straight away. So that's straightforward. So again, it's a good way of getting more gold. It's not going to get much in each chip. 
But if pe- mostly in captures, people are throwing them away, they're dumping them. So talk to someone who works in an office, uh, schools, um, they'd have a good source of cash. They may go through a lot of captures every month. Uh, again, most times they say they're just dumping them. So if you can get them off them, take the chips off them before before they're uh, sent for either recycling in the plastics or uh, just for general waste. Um, just get the chips off them, add them up, they'll, they'll, you'll collect them over time. So we we'll see from that bit of work there this morning now, which wasn't very long. Um, let's just see what we, if my scales decides to work. No, scales has decided not to work. But um, other than that, there's not really much uh, more to say on the on ink cartridges. Oh, there we go, scales deciding to work. Okay, so we're set to zero there. So from this morning's um, cartridges, these are my um, chips that I've collected. Oh, we'll have to change that back to to grams first. And we'll go again. So we'll zero that in. So zero. So about fourteen grams there of uh, chips. Um, from the cartridges so again it's not much weight wise um, but it all adds up so if, if I do that if I get them cartridges for free uh, and I just keep take, stripping them down adding them up uh, over time when I go to process them I could have 100 grams maybe 200 grams of them to process and, and um, I'll let you know what yield I get from it so uh, thanks for watching um, next week um, my plan is to work on some uh, PC boards so just to let you know what I take out of the PC board um, what's um, what's easy to pick off uh, what takes a bit more work to getting off um, different methods of taking off stuff from the board that's the plan um, I also have some uh, Xbox um, 360s there that I want to strip down so again I might I might do a video on one of them instead next week I don't know I'm not sure whether, which video I'm going to do next week um, or I might just surprise you with something totally different um, so please subscribe to the channel it's very important that people subscribe to the channel uh, the more subscribers I get um, the better uh, hopefully I can get my channel up there um, and more stuff if you have an idea of something you want me to strip out just leave a comment um, if I can get hold of the item I'll strip it out um, and see what's inside it see if there's any gold value in it any silver value um, so just subscribe um, as I said earlier on the ink cartridges, these type ink cartridges I, I'm not really a fan of. Uh, there is a bit more work to them. Now, saying that, it, this now will probably come away very easily for me. Um, so there we go. Just as I say that, there's that removed from it, which are gold chips. So again, you can see the gold chips on them. Little gold, well not gold chips, gold flashing. Um, so if you if you um, can get hold of them again just rip them off um, they'll all add up not much gold on them but they'll all add up again you can see it has still left some there on the thing so that's why I'm not a fan of these type I prefer getting something like that where it's just a straightforward chip and you can just get your knife and just remove your chip so um, you know if you can get hold of these it's a lot easier work a lot quicker you get through a lot more of them than you would on the other ones and um, I'd say by looking at them, the gold value would be more per chip than on these than you would get on there. So, you know, so thanks for watching the channel. Uh, as I said, hopefully next week we'll work on maybe uh, motherboards from computers. I might strip out an Xbox 360 maybe. But also some routers there that I want to do a video on. So please subscribe to the channel, hit like, comment, share. Uh, till next time, thanks for watching.